the forehead of your robot. You heard of the deleted scenes of Monster House, you've learnt a lost THX trailer with the Monster House kids, and you've learnt the mastermind behind those deleted scenes, who happens to be Edward Jameson. I have found three more deleted scenes. Be prepared as I tell you this. I was simply browsing on the internet, watching some Monster House videos on YouTube. Just then my iPhone buzzed and I received a Google Mail notification. The email was from Gil Kennan, the director of Monster House. The email read. Dear name withheld, I have found three more deleted scenes of Monster House in the archives of Sony headquarters. Since you were one of those people to discover those deleted scenes, I have decided to share them with you. However please don't scream them publicly. From Gil Keenan. I was surprised that the director of Monster House just emailed me. Gil Kennan emailed me. I questioned myself. I accepted the email, and there was a download link for the three deleted scenes. As I saw the three deleted scenes, they were, in order, the opening deleted version, the cop's deaths, and escape deleted version. The second title of the deleted scene gave me chills. But yet again, I took a deep breath and prepared to watch the three deleted scenes. I opened up the first deleted scene. The opening played normally. You know, it featured a little girl with blonde hair, whose name was Eliza, but never mentioned at any point in the film. But once Eliza stared at Nebercracker's house, the ominous music began to play, different compared to the final film's soundtrack. At this moment, Nebercracker's growling was heard, but he wasn't seen. As once the door opened up, it showed Nebercracker's eyes in the dark, but they were red instead of blue. Once he stepped outside, his skin was red, like in a shade of dark red and shouted in a demonic voice. The little girl let out a blood-curdling shriek and attempted to get off Nebercracker's yard, but the wheels on her bike couldn't budge. Nebercracker ran up to Eliza, still shouting in his demonic voice. Trespasser! Do you want to be alive? The little girl whimpered, in a scared tone. Then get out of here! Or I'll eat you myself! Nebercracker shouted with fury. Eliza then dismounted her bike and ran away screaming. Once she looked behind, she noticed Nebercracker was standing next to her bike. He picked up the bike, pulled apart and threw it straight towards Eliza, who evaded it. Nebercracker screamed in anger and began to chase the little girl. Eliza screamed, as she ran from the angry old man. Just then there was a flash that illuminated on Nebercracker. It zoomed into a window of a house through a telescope and it cut to a shot of DJ observing the scene of the crime. He gasped in shock, witnessing the little girl being chased. So should I help her? DJ asked himself. Just then, as seen in the final film, he heard his mother calling for him. The first deleted scene ended. What the living hell did I see? I questioned. Edward Jameson really messed up this time. I clicked on the second file, where the police get eaten. It started with a scene as shown in the final film itself, where the police officers, Officer Landers and Officer Lister, had put the three kids in their police car. As soon as they were about to enter the car, Lister heard a faint scream from the distance. You hear that? Lister asked Landers. Yep, yeah, it's my stomach. I'm starving. Landers answered, believing that was what Lister asked. No, no, no. That could have been someone inside the house. Come on. Lister said. Lister then marched towards Nebercracker's house, to which Landers followed him. DJ, Chowder and Jenny then protested from inside the car, like in the final film. The scene continued as normal. However once Lister pointed his gun to a tree, the branch turned his gun towards him and shot him in the shoulder. Mick fell to the ground, holding his injured shoulder and grunting in pain. Officer help! Lister yelled. Just then the branch picked him up by the ankle. DJ Chowder and Jenny screamed in horror from inside the car. I'm coming buddy! Landers called, running to help his partner. Help get me down! Lister shouted, demanding help. What should I do? Asked Landers. Just then the carpet tongue suddenly snaked behind him and latched around his ankle. 
the carpet-tongue pulled Landers towards the doorway and the doors munched down on his body. Landers let out an agonizing scream of pain as the doors gnawed on both halves of his body. The three kids gasped in shock, seeing the police officer being mauled. Their eyes then darted to Lister being flung around by the tree, and he was flung into the house, alongside Landers. The house became insentient. After five seconds, it let out a loud belch, much to the kid's disgust. They even covered their ears due to how loud the belch was. The police officer's badges flew out onto the path. Jenny began to hyperventilate and felt the urge to vomit, and Chowder panted in fear, looking at the remains of the policeman. DJ puts both his hands on his friends to calm them down. Jenny gagged, but she swallowed her vomit before she could. The second deleted scene ended. I shivered in fear after I saw that animation. Edward Jameson is just a really messed up individual. I clicked the third and final clip, and dear god. That was messed up. It was the scene where the three kids escaped the house. It showed the part with DJ going up the stairs. It was normal, aside from the faint screams of random people when the stairs were attacking him. Once DJ opened the doors to find his friends and to evacuate the house, he realized the hole on the floor was filled with blood and various human bodies. I could even see the corpses of Bones, Z's ex-boyfriend, Officer Landers and Lister, and Kevin the dog, an animal from the movie. Jenny was spat out and nearly fell into the house's throat. Chowder slid down the stairs on the carpet tongue. DJ then ran to the floor to help up Chowder. Once DJ grabbed Chowder's hand, he was suddenly pulled away and yanked into the air by the carpet tongue, but whenever the carpet tongue was shown on screen, clown-like laughter could be heard, but slightly low-pitched. Jenny cried, worrying for DJ. DJ let out his trademark scream, you know, when he accidentally crumbles Constance's tube, when he gets flung around by the carpet tongue in this scene, and when he plummets from the crane during the climax. As the tongue flung him around, before flinging him downwards towards the bloody and flashy pit. But DJ grabbed Chowder's ankles. <laughs> Jenny shouted, worried for the boys. A light then shone on her, revealing the chandelier uvula. Jenny then performed some parkour to evade the carpet tongue and leaped onto the chandelier. She shook it around and felt her palms burning due to the heat of the chandelier, before she lost grip and fell through the house's throat, only to grab DJ's ankles. Chowder then built up bravery and attempted to climb out of the floorboard. The three kids then climbed back onto the surface and made a run for the door. Quick, get to the door. DJ called, as he, Chowder and Jenny ran toward the door. As DJ was about to put his hand on the doorknob, the knob rattled by itself, and the door opened by itself. Just then, a silhouette of a man was in front of DJ, who fell backwards, gasping. Once the mysterious man approached two inches towards DJ, that man was never cracker, holding a stick, and he snarled angrily at him. DJ let out a startled no, coming face to face with never cracker. What are you three doing in my house? Nebercracker asked angrily. The three kids exchanged shocked glances, not bothering to say a word. DJ then tried to reason with the elderly man. This, this is a mistake. This isn't what, what it lo looks like. Nebercracker then fumed before he shouted at the top of his lungs. Leave my house this instant, or I'll make you leave. The three kids then ran out of the house. Quick, into my house. DJ shouted. Nebercracker then chased after the trio with his stick in his hand. The deleted scene ended. I had a look of shock in my face. I realized in my head that the final deleted scene was similar to a piece of concept art, with DJ on the floor, encountering Nebercracker with what appeared to be a wooden stick. I closed my laptop and grabbed a drink of lemonade to cool myself down. I waited five minutes until I can email Mr. Kennan. After those minutes were up, I emailed Mr. Kennan. I told him that I watched the deleted scenes and I wanted to know what ever happened to Jameson. Mr. Kennan told me that Jameson was arrested on December 6, 2010 for hacking a copy of a Monster House DVD by adding a few of the deleted scenes in it by giving it to a neighbor. The neighbor was appalled, she called the police on him for pulling a horrible and disgusting prank on her. I thanked Mr. Kennan for his kind words and he said, you're welcome, and stay safe. I had a lot of nightmares that night. I had many dreams where Nebercracker was chasing me and he threw a bicycle in my direction. 
It was a good thing Jameson got arrested for a disgusting prank. He deserved it. What more horrific twists of Monster House will you ever encounter in your life? What comes, who knows, why, how, and who cares?